Welcome back everyone! Today I will unbox and show you how to use the Polysound Silo Pox. I won't be using my knife today, I will just tear it open. Let's take them out of the packaging. A booklet with specifications and other offers from Polysound. And Silo Pox themselves. There are 8 packs in each package, 4 packs per speaker. These are being used as a decoupling tool for speakers or any other electronics. They could even be used for turntables or amplifiers. On one side of the puck you can see that there are small pores, it looks like a sponge. On the other side it's glossy. As you can see they're bendable, but not too soft. They are 4 cm in diameter and 1.5 cm in height. Ok, let's put them to use. I'll be using them to decouple my Magnet Quantum 1009 speakers. They weigh about 50 kg, which is more than 100 pounds. I had to specifically choose the brown pucks, because only these can support the weight of my speakers. If you want to use them for bookshelf speakers, then you have to choose a different colored ones. They are color coded for a specific weight that they can support. You can find the color and intended weight of the speaker in the Amazon link below. Let's put them to use. I'm doing it by myself, so it's a bit harder because of the weight of my speakers. Be sure to put them right below the speaker spike thread sockets to support the weight evenly. You can see my grey socks that should not be in the frame. The same thing applies here. Check for the spike threads and align them with the speaker housing. Once it's done, check all the pucks if they are in place. Do the same for other speaker. Here you can see how the puck suspension works. I can move my speakers with no audible sounds in my room. And here is the view of the top of the speaker. As you can see, they can be moved a lot, but they do not fall. I would say that it is even child safe. Here you can see the measured vibrations, when a frequency sweep from 20Hz to 20kHz is being played. With the silo box, the vibrations are almost eliminated. In my testing I observed that the floor is not vibrating as much, and it reduces the boominess in the room. Bass is a lot cleaner. It does not affect any of the high frequencies, I would suggest you to try them instead of spikes and see which ones do you prefer. Your neighbors will be glad if you will own these silo packs. Thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful. Like if you would like to see a sound test with and without the silo packs and subscribe not to miss any new videos. Good luck everyone!